Buddy, it was good to see so many people at Central Islip High School last week. You know, when I was nine years old, we moved to the Bronx after my father died, and there, there were gangs there. And at nine years old, I felt afraid. When I looked at some of the kids who were in the audience, I saw that fear. And I saw the fear in the faces of the families. <coughs> As Deputy Presiding <coughs> Officer of the Legislature, it broke my heart to see this in Suffolk County. And when people said, what are the politicians doing? I really felt it critical for us to tell people, we did take that chance that Jeff was just talking about. We did have to raise taxes in the police district in order to put two police classes in our budget. Now what we have to do is to get the person who needs to sign off on those classes to sign off on those That's classes. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. children in my county. I don't want to hear the stories of parents who have lost their kids on the streets. And while we're talking about the protection of people, I see a nurse in the audience. I don't want to see any more nurses cut out of our budget either. You can't run. That's what we're here for. That's what we're paying all these taxes for. All of us need to remember that when someone says, I'm a fiscal genius, it means that that person can do more with less. Not less with less, and less and less and less. We can't take the fat off our budget because our budget is only a skeleton. And that skeleton will crumble if we don't start beefing it up. Thank you so much for coming out and standing up for yourself.